In this tutorial you're going to learn how to create a flat roof. So just as a recap to remind you, we have grouped the ground floor, we've grouped the top floor and we've created layers for them. So we, we know we work on layer zero, the active layer, and now we're going to create a roof but it's not going to be inside any of the layers. So all the layers are closed and all the groups are closed. We're on layer zero and we're going to draw with the pencil tool a rectangle And there we have a rectangle over the top of the roof. Now I'm going to use the selection tool and select the outside of the rectangle and I want to use the offset to offset it by one metre. We can type the one metre in push enter. And you can see that we now have a roof that's got an overhang of one metre all the way around or an eave as they're normally called. Now we're going to use the push pull tool and pull this outer part up by 0.5 of a metre. Position so you can see everything. We use the push pull tool again and pull one of these sides all the way along till it closes up. And you have a house that has a flat roof. We're now going to select the roof and make it a group and then we're going to put it on its own layer. So the easiest way to do that is to do control A to select everything. Then holding the shift key down, select the lower layer, then the upper layer. And now you should only be left with the roof selected. Making sure the selection arrow is active, right click and make group. Go to your edit entity info and if you can't find it just change, close a few of the other dialog boxes. It should be the top one. Um, and I have the roof active. I also want to open layers. Add a new layer and call it roof. In the Entity Info section, click down on click on the drop down arrow and select Roof. So now I should be able to turn off the roof, and turn off the top floor, and all of these are still editable.